In today's video, the first thing I'm going to do is go catch some fiddler crabs and then we're going to go take them out on the kayak and use them as bait. The bait and tackle that you see me using today can be purchased locally in Beaufort at CC's Honey Hole Bait and Tackle Shop. So if you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. My name is Houston and this is Beaufort SC Fishing. I offer a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you out here on the kayaks to do basically what you see me doing in this video. I plan everything with the weather and tide to make the best trip possible and I have two Hobie pedal kayaks just like this one I'm in that I can provide for you. So if a guided kayak fishing trip with me sounds like something you might be interested in send me an email. I'll have my email on the screen right now and it'll also be in the description of this video. putting fiddler crabs on a lemon island jig it's about a half ounce three eighths ounce something like that just dropping it down here i like to drop it straight to the bottom and then kind of lift it up a few inches off the bottom first fish of the day kind of feels like a no it's a sheep's head okay thought it was going to be a toadfish There we go. Nice little sheep's head at the start of the day. Probably 10, 11 inches, not very big. That's a bite. Okay, that's an interesting catch. 
black sea bass on a fiddler crab. It's not a bad size one either. They're normally a lot smaller around here. Another fish. Another sea fish. It's the third one of the day. Another sheep's head. It's number four of the day. Still no big ones though. a darker colored fish. It's a nice sized crab that we're gonna send down there. Sheep's head number five of the day. Probably 10 inches. Another one, number six. Something. Oh, another sea bass. Oh, and it's gone. Got something. I don't know. Another sheep's head. Dang. I think that's sheep said number seven. All around the same size though. Another fish. Another sheep. I think that's number eight of the day on the sheep's head. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's still not a keeper size. So I just broke off one of my Lemon Island jigs, so I'm just going to tie another one on and go back out there and try to catch another fish. Got another fish. Oh, that's a tiny sea bass.
Ooh, nice fish. Wow, that was on a small crab. This might be it. This is, yeah, this is a good fish. This is what we've been waiting for all day, honestly. It's pulling drag on some tight drag. Yeah, it's a nice fish. No telling what it's going to be. It is like dragging me around. Nice red. <laughs> he ate a really small fiddler crab. Definitely have to net this one. Oh wow. Jesus. It's a big fish. They put up such a fight on this tackle too. Heavy. Look how fat that fish is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I wish I had like a scale because this fish isn't that long, but it is like it is a heavy fish. Got the lemon island jig right in the corner of its mouth. It's been a while since I caught a big red like this. Jeez. 29 and a half. But just look, look at how round this fish is. That's crazy. It's gotta weigh like over 10 pounds. It's a really nice, heavy, 29 and a half inch redfish, caught on a really small fiddler crab. All right, there he goes. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay, I figured he wouldn't get near this. Now he swam away. Another fish. Oh wow, that's actually not a bad size sheep too. Might be the biggest one of the day. Didn't really fight too hard either. That's close to the tenth sheep set of the day. Too bad there's no keeper size one. All right, we have only two crabs left. So I'm gonna put them both on the hook and drop them down there. It's our last chance to catch anything right here. There we go, two crabs on one hook. Last two crabs, let's see what we got. Another sheep's head. That one's probably the tenth of the day, and I think that's where we're gonna end. Still not a keeper size, but at least we're catching a bunch of them. Okay, that was definitely a fun day of fishing. Lots of fish caught. 
and a good sized fish was caught so I had fun. Uh, if you want to come out here and try something like this with me, I offer a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you out here and I'll, I'll provide all the gear that it takes to come out here. So send me an email if you're interested in a guided kayak fishing trip. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.